Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Right before taking this pic, Trump turned to room and said four shocking words to reporters. As he was taking photos beside military leaders and their spouses before dinner at the White House, President Trump made a huge statement. He cited the calm before the storm. You guys know what this represents? Maybe it's the calm before the storm, Trump said on Thursday night. Reporters asked him what he meant. Trump replied, it could be, the calm, the calm before the storm. Reporters then asked him what he meant. Trump said only, you'll find out. The White House then ignored CNN, who wrote this sad sentence crying about how the White House hasn't responded to them. Take a look at that video above and remember this. Trump is one of the greatest trolls in the history of the planet. These liberal reporters take his bait every time. Share this and let's all laugh because Trump is having fun. Lives attack Walking Dead actor for pro cop shirt, he just gave them all the middle finger. Actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan of The Walking Dead is a racist and a Nazi for supporting police officers. That's how the left feels these days. In other words, anyone who might defend cops or America or President Trump is a racist Nazi. Sheesh. Morgan didn't care, though. He told all his haters to back the heck up. Check this out, for Digital Spy. In a post that has since been deleted, Jeffrey wrote on Instagram, via BBC Newsbeat, can't believe I need to explain to you this fact. All lives matter. All of them. This shirt was made in response to the cold-blooded murder of two good cops in NY, both that had immigrated to the U.S., and took an oath to protect and serve. After telling his asshole critics to grow up, the actor has since shared, and deleted, a post apologizing for his comments and insisting that he does support Black Lives Matter. Does anyone need more proof that liberalism is a mental disease? Watch black man walks up to white NYPD agent, what he did next left him unconscious. There are no words for the clip you are about to see. It features Devon D. Cochran, a black man, in Staten Island. He is 27 years old. Cochran wasn't too happy about receiving a ticket from an NYPD traffic agent, so he decided to knock the white man out, rendering him unconscious. According to the New York Post, Cochran was been arrested. Cochran is shown following the 50-year-old victim as he crosses the street. The crazed man then ends the call, creeps up behind his target and punches him in the neck. The traffic agent fell to the ground and lost consciousness, officials said. He was rushed to Staten Island University Hospital North, where he was treated for a head injury and bruising to the neck. How awful is that? Does it get any more deplorable? You'd think lefties would come out and defend this NYPD traffic agent out of the kindness of their hearts. Then, you remember the left is oftentimes quite heartless. What can you expect from a group of people who believe it's okay to kill babies? If this video pisses you off, and it should, share it so everyone can see. There is no excuse for what Cochran did to this agent. Pelosi just tweeted about gun control, then James Woods wrecked her with epic response. Nancy Pelosi, being the crazed progressive Californian congresswoman she is, tweeted about gun control earlier today. Boom. Woods with the kill shot, pun intended. There's no doubt liberals have killed more people in random shootings and mass murders, because they have less morals than conservatives. Life simply doesn't matter to them, as evidenced by their fondness for abortion. Just look at Chicago, for instance. Liberal city, lots of homicide. 
conservatives understand that guns are used for sport or for self-defense, not for shooting a person you may disagree with. Of course there are exceptions, sure. But generally speaking, lives are the killers. If you think Woods crushed Pelosi with his tweet, let us know. Make sure to spread this article all over to let everyone know how ignorant Dems truly are. H.T. Twitchy IT begins Trump shocked the world with what he aimed at Iran seconds ago. Republicans knew that the Iran nuclear deal agreed upon by the previous administration and the Ayatollahs of the world's leading sponsor of terror was a bad move. Knew it from day one. On the campaign trail, candidate Donald Trump railed against the agreement, calling it the worst deal he had ever seen. He vowed, if elected president, to rip it up. Trump echoed this sentiment during his speech to the UN, for foreign policy. The Iran deal was one of the worst and most one-sided transactions the United States has ever entered into, he told the United Nations General Assembly on September 19. Frankly, that deal is an embarrassment to the United States, and I don't think you've heard the last of it, believe me. What this will do is put pressure on Congress to create a better deal, which is what America, and the world really needs. Let's get 10,000 shares to show President Trump he's got our support. The Iran nuclear deal was never good for America, or the world. These top three Democrats caught taking money from someone horrible. Media won't show IT. Well, this is awkward. Three top Democrats were found to have received money from Harvey Weinstein, a big-money Democrat donor and Hollywood exec who has recently admitted to a long history of sexual harassment against women. The recipients of this perv's money include Senators Cory Booker, D&J, $7,800, Kirsten Gillibrand, D&Y, $11,800, and everyone's favorite, Elizabeth Warren, DMA, $5,000. Senator Kamala Harris, DCA, also met with Weinstein in July, but has not received any funds. All of those senators have been rumored to be top contenders for the 2020 presidential election, and they are definitely going to have some explaining to do as more information about Weinstein's sketchy dealings come to light. The New York Times released a shocking expose on Weinstein, reporting that the media mogul had reached sexual harassment settlements with eight women. Weinstein has denied the allegations but released a strange, vaguely worded statement to the New York Times reading, in part. Advertisement I came of age in the 60s and 70s, when all the rules about behavior and workplaces were different. That was the culture then. I have since learned it's not an excuse, in the office or out of it, to anyone. I appreciate the way I've behaved with colleagues in the past has caused a lot of pain, and I sincerely apologize for it. He then for some reason decided to attack President Trump, perhaps to win himself back into the hearts of Hollywood leftists, saying he would make a movie about the president that would have him retire. Read the whole bizarre piece here. This guy is clearly creepy, and if the Democrats had any spine they would reject his donation immediately. Share this out to name and shame the Democrats taking money for Weinstein. H.T. Washington Examiner Urgent Russia says North Korea preparing to launch missile at U.S., look where it will hit. A Russian lawmaker says that North Korea is preparing to launch another missile. And Dan Morozov of the nationalist Liberal Democratic Party is seeing calculations that the missile will hit the U.S. West Coast. Supposedly the North Koreans now have the tech to bring a warhead down intact. The party foundation anniversary is being celebrated next week on Tuesday. Monday is Columbus Day in the U.S. The attack could very likely happen either of these days. Kim Jong-un says that the missile tests coincide with American holidays to get maximum media coverage according to Daily Mail. This news comes after Trump talked about how yesterday was the calm before the storm with our military people. 
In an unprecedented personal address to President Trump, Kim said the U.S. would pay dearly adding that North Korea will consider with seriousness exercising of a corresponding, the highest level of hardline countermeasure in history. Share this to warn everyone in America what is about to be racing toward the United States.